and you've alluded yeah. to that now can you explain a little bit about you you pretty much target mainly three gods yes. that are taking possession of our culture yeah. can we talk about yes. the first one the possessor yeah. Yeah, I call yeah in the book in the Return of the Gods I call this the Dark Trinity, and that, and that is when you look at the fall of ancient Israel, you see three main gods or principalities that really embody the fall. You know, and that the first one is his name in in ancient Hebrew means the possessor. When you say it in Hebrew, the possessor or the owner or the Lord, it means or the master. And the name and the and the word in in Hebrew is Baal. We call him Baal, but Baal is his name. And it means the possessor. And so he is the one who begins, who really turns the nation that had known God into a pagan nation. He begins it all. He begins the thing. And you'll be always, when you see Baal, he's always mentioned first among the gods. Mm -hmm. He's the first to get in. He's like that spirit that comes back to the house and then says, I'll get the other ones. You know, mm -hmm. and so so he comes in. So so when did he come? Or when or when do we see this manifesting? Well, you know, we open the door because we had to open the door because it could not happen without that. We have to, because the but the warning of Jesus is that if you empty the house, well, we started emptying the house, America and much of the West, and then it's affected the whole world. But early 60s, we begin saying, okay, let's take prayer out. We don't need prayer in the school. Let's take it out. Let's take the word out of that. Well, it starts the removal in a sense. You know what it is? But it's like the it's like a reverse exorcism. It's exercising God. Wow. And so that's what's happened. And so this is what happened. So we take it out. And then, well, it's a little thing. It's just prayer in the school. No, not a little thing. It was separating the next generation, the future of America, from God. That was going to open the door. So once you open the door, all bets are off. You know, because Jesus said the house is not staying empty. We took, we took God out of the school. We took God from the children. Look now what has come into the school. Look what has come into our children. That's the warning Jesus gave, and it's now happening. Wow. And so the spirit of Baal, or the possessor, comes into culture. What did he do to Israel? One is he drove God out. This spirit drives God out of everything, mm -hmm. out of the public square, out of the government, out of the culture, out of, out of everything. So we've been watching this progressive driving God out of our culture. And, you know, and it, you know, you would think, you know, if there was no supernatural, you think, OK, that's going to bring about neutrality. It's just going to be secular neutral. But it's not. It never does. You know what? But, you know, it, it's a dangerous thing. And that's what Jesus is saying. Look what happened. You know, we don't have many cases, but look at the cases we have. Look what happened when the nation of Russia took God out of its culture with communism. Mm -hmm. What happened wasn't secular. What happened was demonic. Yeah. You know, look what happened in the land of the word, the Reformation. Germany. Mm -hmm. Look what happened when they took God out. What happened was Adolf Hitler and the and the Third Reich. It was not neutral. It was demonic. Mm -hmm. So now, but now this year, it's happening in America and the world. It's it's a, a global thing. So we're watching an end time thing. So that so what so that's so he starts driving God out. Another thing that Baal the Bible says is he caused Israel to forget God. Mm -hmm. Well, America has not only forgotten God as a whole culture. But it, it can barely remember that it ever knew God. You know, if you look back at the at the the, the before the '60s, you had an America where the school teachers in the public school were leading the students in the Lord's Prayer. Mm -hmm. We can hardly imagine that now. You know, you know where the number one movies were had names like the Ten Commandments or King of Kings. It is a whole. You know, this is the this is the the spirit that has transformed America. But also, it's it also says that Baal caused um, caused Israel to overturn the ways of God, to abandon the ways of God. We've been watching a progressive abandoning. And, um, you know, we have even literally, it's cost us to strike down the Ten Commandments, just like Israel did. We actually have struck down the Ten Commandments. Well, it, it's affected us in all sorts of ways, not just the op the, those ways, but in more subtle ways. Example, in, in monotheism, you have one God and one truth. Mm -hmm. In paganism, you have many gods and many truths. And so what does that mean? So all of a sudden, everybody has their authentic truth. If a man says he's not a man anymore, he's a tree. Well, then that's his authentic truth. You know, so, you know, that's not, you know, that's wokeism, but that's not enlightened. That's paganism. Mm -hmm. You know, and here's another example of how paganism has a, we don't even realize we've been paganized. You know, the Bible says that when, when the people turn away from God, they end up serving the works of their hands. Well, when Paul speaks of the idols of the pagan world on Mars Hill, he uses the word techne, techne, 
-hmm. from which we get the word technology. What's happened is that as we've turned away from God, we are now serving, we are servants of our own technology that we created. We are now mastered by, they become our bail. We are mastered by them. In fact, now we have artificial intelligence, which is mm -hmm. which threatens to take over. It becomes, you end up being mastered by your idol. Mm -hmm. um, and it, the Bible also says you become like your idol. So yeah. look what's happening to this generation. They're becoming less and less human. They're becoming more like a computer while the computer's becoming more human. This is all part of the mystery of paganism. But let me go further. There, there was one sign of Baal, I, you know, that above all others. And you know what it was? It was it was the, a molten bronze bull. Okay. Wow. Now, could that appear in America? Well, go to New York City. You're going to find, go to where the harbingers are. You're going to find a gigantic molten bronze bull, the sign of Baal, the sign wow. in the Bible of a nation that has once knew God, but now has given itself to the gods. They had no idea what they were doing. But they did it. And you know what? Interesting that is that Baal was the god of prosperity. Uh -huh. So it, so what is the sign of prosperity in, in America? A the bull, a bull market, bullishness, yeah. that bull. So there, now there's so much. I won't go into it. There is so much more. I'm just giving you a nutshell. Mm -hmm. But I'll, I'll go to the next of the dark trinity. Yeah, I'm just going to pause just for a second. That yeah. when, when in the book, when I was reading about the bull, about the uh, Baal and how he is a god of prosperity, reign, fertility, increase, gain, profit, and and how you connected that the moment that America pushed God away and how prosperity became America's God, the mighty dollar, uh, pretty much money became America's, America's God. And you started to connect that what's happening in New York and pretty much, I mean, that was just, I was like, you got to be, this could not be made up. I mean, this yeah. was incredible connection that we see in the United States. It's really that mammon, that God of money, you know, and God wants us to be blessed. God just doesn't want us to make money into our God. And then the next God, that Baal or Baal brings and this what happens started to happen in America and that one is enchantment. Yeah. Yeah. The, the second one, yeah. It called the enchantress. And she was called the enchantress. This is a she. She's called the enchantress and she was actually the wife of Baal in Canaanite mythology. She was his lover or wife, but she's all over. This is one of the most ancient principalities, ancient dark principalities and her name in the Bible is Ashtora or Ashtora. But in Babylon, she was called Ishtar. In Sumer, she was called Inanna. And in Greece, she was called Aphrodite. It's all the same, it's all the same principality. And, and here's, here's what we know about her. She was the goddess of unbridled sexual immorality. Wow. She, was a, she was the goddess who actually sees a harlot. She's a prostitute. Uh, she's a prostitute goddess. And so what would we expect to happen now? You know, if the other principalities are seeking to turn a Christian culture into a pagan one. This one is seeking to do that through the realm of sexuality. And look how powerful, how powerfully sexuality has been used to make America fall and make the West really paganize the West. Well, well, here's what here's what we'd expect. If you you know, the Bible says Baal and Ashtorah. Baal is first, Ashtorah comes after. So what we, we expect is that. After Baal, the, the turning of America early 60s, we would expect to be there be some major transformation that would happen in the realm of sexuality. Mm -hmm. It's exactly what happens. It has a name. It's called the sexual revolution. Wow. That's the fingerprints of the goddess. That's what it's all. So it goes just like, like clockwork, right in order. And the thing is, what does a prostitute do? She's a prostitute. A prostitute takes sex out of marriage and puts it into the marketplace, puts it into the mainstream culture. Look at what's happened to America and the West. And by the way, when I say America and the West, it's touched the whole world. Yeah. But this is where this is where it began. And so America, you know, Amer it has, you know, what happened is that sex was taken out of marriage. Mm -hmm. And now the whole culture has become sexualized. That that was part of pagan culture. You had sex in the temples. You had sex in the in the priest to the right, the, the, the rituals. You have now you have now sexualized an entire culture. That's what she does. But also, you know, when the when when she was worshipped, they worshipped her as the they called her the sacred prostitute. Well, in Greece, in Greek, when they when they praised her in Greece in the hymns, the word for prostitute is the word porne, from which we get the word porn. And so here, it's no accident because this this spirit is the spirit that actually invented pornography. The first pornography is the is the literature of this goddess. In fact, the word pornography means the literature of the prostitute. It was her. Wow. And, and so not only that, 
that and, and she multiplied images you know in pornographic images all over the pagan world in stone and in you know and in, and in 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 wood and the thing is that and the thing is that so we have she she basically seduces a culture through pornography and through the sexual realm she takes she divorces sex from any context but also we talk about the culture becoming eroticized, erotic culture. Mm -hmm. The word erotic comes from the word Eros. Eros was an ancient god. His mother was Ashtora, Ishtar, the goddess. So here you have this one from all that. And at the same time, what else does a prostitute do? A prostitute weakens marriage. So look at what's happened to marriage. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not an accident because when you take this sexuality out of marriage, you're weakening marriage at the same time. That's what a prostitute does. So marriages have broken up, divorce skyrocketed, broken homes, broken. That's all part of Ashtora. It's part of the sexual revolution. And the sexual revolution has not stopped. And I'll, I'll, I'll throw in one more. I'm just giving you a taste, you know, but I, but the for those who are listening. But one is that another thing happened. This goddess was also the goddess of the occult, of casting spells. So notice, at the same time that, that the sexual revolution comes, you have a revival of the occult. Yeah. Astrology, tarot cards, psychic hotlines, new age, you know, Eastern mysticism, mm -hmm. um, you know, all these things that, you know, there are now more witches in America than there are Presbyterians in America. That th There's a revival. That's all part of the goddess. She was also a sorceress. So all this has happened, and, you know, it's a, and like clockwork. And there's mm -hmm. so much more, but that, that gives a taste of it. Mm -hmm. And pretty much the possessor, um, Baal, and then uh, Ashtoreth, Enchantness. And then you pretty much say that there is one more that's coming after that, and that is the destroyer. Yes. And yes. your connection to even to the abortion and how you connected that anytime you have sexual immorality, you will have to always have child sacrifice following that. Yeah. And I mean, that's I had right. chills in my spine when I was reading that chapter uh, and listening to that chapter. It was scary how spiritual i mean even you guys for those of you who are listening right now what he presented right now about pornography what he presented right now about the witchcraft and the sorcery what's happening in our culture i mean you don't, you have to be blind not to be able to see the connection that these spirits these gods have returned and if you're watching porn if you're participating in witchcraft and sorcery you're pretty much you're playing straight into the devil's hands. You have to repent, turn to Christ. Could you speak into the about the destroyer that follows the enchantness? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, th this is, you know, th when Israel turned away from God, they ended up offering up their own children as sacrifices. This is the spirit or the principality that causes parents to offer their children. Um, and this was, you know, this is not uncommon in the pagan world. This was common. Human sacrifice was common and child sacrifice. It was not safe to be a child in the pagan world. Wow. It was Christianity that really saved children in a million ways. You know, the only thing that ended this really across the world was the gospel. That shows you how right Jesus is, how right this is. But the thing, the warning is though, if you turn, if you empty the house of God, then they're all coming back, including this Moloch, this 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 ancient destroyer is going to come back into your culture, and and so that's exactly what happens. And the thing is that as you, it's like clockwork, you, it is linked to the your what you just said was absolutely right. It is linked to the sexual revolution. You're going to have this. You're going to have that. You know, they they the thing is that it's almost like the one god prepares the way for the next the next god the one spirit for the next spirit so so you have you have baal the turning away you have ashtora the sexual revolution and just like clockwork then comes the destroyer and and when does when does abortion come to america uh 1970 it begins actually it starts being practiced throughout in 1973 it becomes the law of the land but it begins and I, so it's right at the end of the 60s it comes like clockwork but Jesus said, when it comes, you know, when they come back, they come back worse, you know. So, they, so the thing is that, you know, ancient Israel, they killed thousands of their children. We've killed over 64 million of them. So, you know, we, we, there's no comparison, you know, and when, and, and except the comparison is when I, I put in the return of the gods, I showed how the, the steps that they offered their children in you all, you, every one of them has a, has a, counterpart in a modern abortion you know I'll, I'll just give a little a quick little sample yes. of it and that is that why were these parents offering up their children because they were told if you offer up your children to the god you're going to get financially blessed you're going to get your you're, you're going to get your fields well you're going to have to be prosperous why are do women get abortions more than anything why are women told to get abortions because they say well if you have a child 
It's going to hurt your your career. That's it's going to hurt your 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 academics. It's going to hurt you ba basically being prosperous. Same thing, you know. Another thing is which which children were offered up to the god more than any other? Uh, the children of the poor. In ancient times, it was the children of the poor. Mm -hmm. In fact, sometimes rich people paid poor people for their children. I mean, it's it's great. So look right now, the this god is back. Which children are being offered up more than any other? The children of the poor, yeah. children of minorities, children of uh, that's it. It's against them. You know, you know, the, the see one thing and, and you kind of, you know, you you alluded to it. And I and I you know, just say this. It doesn't matter what side you are in the culture war. It doesn't matter if you're watching this and you're taught. It doesn't matter. The gods are against you. The spirits are against you. They, you know, this is against you as much as it's against us. We're all in the same boat in the end. You know, so this is, you know, think about like the act of offering up your child. That, I mean, that's an act of self-destruction. You yeah. know, you're offering up the fruit of your life. You know, the God, you know, the word, the, the word for, for the, shed, I said the Shadim at the beginning. Mm -hmm. Shadim, the word actually comes from the root word the, to destroy. They are the destroyers. And they entice people, to, but to destroy them in the end. And so that's what they're doing to America. That's what they're doing to the world. And then, you know, and, and then, so that those, that I'm just giving a taste, as you know, that I can give it, we can give a taste of it. But then there is another realm because one of the three from the Dark Trinity mm -hmm. has another side to her. Yeah, and that goddess. side has affected everything that we're dealing with right now.